The Rise and Fall of the Malian Empire The Rise of the Malian Empire The Malian Empire was one of the largest and most powerful empires in West Africa, spanning over 400 years from the 13th to the 17th century. It was founded by Sundiata Keita, a legendary figure who united several small kingdoms into one powerful empire. Under Sundiata's rule, the Malian Empire grew rich and prosperous through trade, particularly with North African merchants who brought gold, salt and other goods to exchange for slaves, ivory and other valuable commodities found in Mali. Perhaps the most famous ruler of the Malian Empire was Mansa Musa, who came to power in the early 14th century. He is known for his legendary wealth and extravagant pilgrimage to Mecca, during which he distributed so much gold that it caused inflation in Egypt and other parts of the Middle East. Mansa Musa was also a patron of the arts, commissioning beautiful mosques and other buildings throughout Mali. His reign marked a high point in the empire's cultural and intellectual achievements. Trade was a major source of wealth and power for the Malian Empire, particularly the trade of gold and salt. Gold was mined in the south of Mali and traded with North African merchants, while salt was mined in the Sahara and brought to Mali by camel caravans. In addition to these valuable commodities, the Malian Empire also traded in textiles, beads, ivory and slaves. Trade routes crisscrossed the empire, connecting Mali to other parts of West Africa, as well as North Africa and the Mediterranean world. The Malian Empire was home to a diverse array of religions and belief systems, including Islam, traditional African religions, and syncretic forms that blended elements of both. Islam was introduced to Mali through North African traders and became the dominant religion under Mansa Musa. Despite the spread of Islam, many Malians continued to practice traditional African religions, which often involved ancestor worship and the veneration of spirits. These beliefs were often incorporated into Islamic practices, creating unique hybrid traditions that reflected the diversity of the empire's people. Architecture the Malian Empire was known for its impressive architecture the Malian and Empire art, which was reflected known for the empire's architecture and art, which reflected the empire's wealth mosques and, and other buildings were constructed using mosques bricks and other buildings and decorated constructed with using mud bricks and decorated and with intricate geometric patterns and calligraphy. Artists and craftsmen created beautiful textiles, pottery and metalwork, often incorporating Islamic motifs and designs. Music and oral storytelling were also important forms of artistic expression, with griots, professional storytellers, playing a key role in preserving the history and culture of the empire. Decline and legacy of the Malian Empire the Malian Empire began to decline in the 16th century. Due in part to internal conflicts and external, the empire had fragmented into smaller states and lost much of its former power and influence. Despite its decline, the legacy of the Malian Empire lived on in the region's culture, language and traditions. Many modern West African nations see themselves as heirs to the Malian legacy. An empire continues to inspire artists, writers and scholars today.